Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I am your host, Matorius. This is an update on the Owen Benjamin subreddit. Let's do a replay on that. Then they just run to Reddit. I was part of the call. He said I was special. He said I was going to beat somebody. I came to Idaho with $300 and I left with $100 and a sore anus. Okay, so there's that. Let's see. No exciting update to give Owen Money Project from Mr. Permi Bear. Mr. Permi Bear is a higher up uh, member of the bear cult. Um, Owen would call him a lieutenant. This would be one of the lieutenants that would live in Owen's castle after Permi Bear and the rest of the cult members build said castle for Owen while using their own money to do so. And so, um, let's see. We are doing big things, things no one has done before. There is literally nothing that the bear cult is doing that has never been done before. They The, the bait and switch tactics, the uh, manipulation, fear, manipulation, humiliation, uh, racism, all of those things have been done before. Sure, we have some weak critics, but they will never have the balls to do what the bears have done and are doing on a daily basis. <clears throat> convince people to give them money in order to buy their cult leader more land. <clears throat> and I don't know if that's balls or just weak ethics that allow them to do that. Weak morals. The bear community is like social and business permaculture, complementing and working together in harmony, unmatched synergy and synchronicity. A whole lot of, of uh, meaningless words that you would see in a meeting in corporate America and, um, that it's literally, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a group of people working together for a common goal, which literally is to uh, get more land for their cult leader. And so it's, it's in my opinion, that some of the higher ups like Coddington and Permabear are probably in on the scam themselves. That's one of the reasons why they're, why they're willing to put themselves out there. I don't think it's really a manipulation on Owen's part more than a collaboration in the common scheme. Crowdfund for for a campground? Let's try that one more time. Crowdfund for a campground? It's also a cattle ranch. Now it's a hayfield. We utilize the land in all ways good and productive to promote self-reliance, local and ethical produ production. You can promote anything you want. You can say that you promote anything you want to. But if the basis, if the foundation of what you're doing is based on lies and deceit, such as this, then it cannot and will not prosper. <clears throat> it can't. And the reason why is because a castle built on sand will not be able to withstand. That's just how life works. And so this whole Bertaria thing, which was the, the basis, the foundation, was built upon the 2020 uh, Bertarian scam during a worldwide crisis where Owen did the whole bait and switch, where he promoted an investment opportunity for people to invest in a safety net. While the uh, during economic um, turmoil, that nobody knew exactly what tomorrow was going to bring, and so therefore he said, "Give me your money, and I'll be your savior." Pretty much, where he said, "I'll buy all this land, and you'll have a place to come if if the proverbial it hits the fan." And so that's where all of this started. We have a five year contract. If you're a bear, I would ask if you're a bear and you've come and in, in, you have donated to this. You have invested in this. I would ask to see this contract and completed put first year requirements six months early. OK, help us get the second phase of this project completed. Donors will see the fruits of this labor for years to come. And the additional benefits we want to add for members down the pipeline are huge. This is one of their tactics. Give me money. Don't expect anything while we tell you to expect something. That's going. That's old school Owen Benjamin. I say old school. Within the last three years, that's one of the things that he's grown to say. Give me your money. Don't expect anything, but expect this. Donors to the campground are in a league of their own. That's that's not a lie. They are the tip of the spear in solving problems, not bitching or complaining. Now, bitching and complaining or complaining, they're referring to the high trust community that they promote and encourage, which means if Owen tells you to shut up, that means you shut up. Now we're going to go to the comments section. Folks, giving one guy at the top all your money because you think he'll solve your problems has never been done before. Fact. So, it's like Jonestown with less acreage. Got it. And what exactly have they done so far? 
Former Bear nailed it on the head when he said, building Bertari is building Owen's portfolio. In this sense, it's been a grand success. That's absolutely accurate. All of this land is privately owned by Owen Benjamin and therefore is dictated by Owen Benjamin. Permi Bear has unloaded <clears throat> a bothersome land contract on Owen. The Bears are paying for it, but as the investors of the project, they're not allowed to see the contracts or know any of the details. This is very problematic. Whenever they say that they promote a high trust community, it's it's really uh, controlling their their Bears by fear, saying we will exile you if you question anything. Guys, look at this cool video of stock B-roll of some guy doing something something with a great big manly looking machine crushing one of those excavators excavators <laughs> it's probably an escalator or something you guys are getting it what fruits will they actually get to see hey that they ha uh, hey that they have an option to pay for and buy if they donate that's one thing that they do if you in the bertaria festival that's coming up it's four hundred dollars a ticket or for the low low price you get two tickets for a thousand dollars that's a perfect example of this bertarian scam Owen is the only fruit being produced by the bear sexual cult. Bear sexual cult, Ewo, Ewo, I don't know what that means, named after their leader, ha ha. That's exactly how it works. In one video, Permi brags, now it's a hay field and now it's a campground, pitching a tent on hay stubble. Don't you, don't say you never got poked at the festival, guys. And somehow this loud mouth narcissist still goes on. How much longer do we have to endure the notion of this on, of his online existence? Someone needs to produce a documentary on him and his bear bull crap bull ho horse hockey from a cult angle, highly produced with widespread publicity. I think uh, Coffeezilla. If you're watching this, I would promote this to Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla would be a, a, a great person who has far greater intellect than I do and knows the terminology and, and can can actually put a put a pin in this for everyone. I've been to campgrounds before, the kind you can actually stay at. Crowdfund a campground no one can use. Cool. You can use it, but only when no one tells you that you can, and you still have to pay an additional fee to stay there. Other than that, it's a great deal. Additional benefits are getting banned for asking questions, high, pro, high trust community. Your wife will be attacked by Owen himself. That is the ethical leadership of this bear cult. You will receive death threats from leftover bears, the high ethical uh, behavior of this bear cult. Your YouTube channel will be mass flagged if you try to talk about it. High ethical uh, practices of this bear cult. Added bonus benefit of being called a PDF file. Once again, the high ethical performances of this bear cult. Dark Lord Nate, additional benefits we want to add for members down the pipeline. Ha ha ha, yeah, Owen. We've never seen this before, have we? Owen, now, give me money today and I'll do really cool yet to determine things in the future. You can trust me, I may be wrong, but I'm not lying, also batting a thousand. That is a perfect example of the original Bertaria scam. Give me your money, I'm going to buy land, 200, acre, 200 acres. If I don't hit that mark, I'll give you your money back. And then a year later, he bought 10 acres and said... What we did was crowdfunded for a documentary, which was a propaganda film. Owen in a year. Guys, I never promised anything. This has always been my land, and your donations were just that, donations. I said there might be benefits in the future, but we didn't reach the phase four goals. If you had donated more, then I would have been able to give you guys a bouncy house and a lazy river, but no. You had to go and be all stingy about your money. Wow, inflation is up 18%, and I can't feed my family. Horse hockey. A real bear would dig deep and find a way to donate this wonderful community. I'm looking at you, cult hopper bear. You want to do something good and prove you're not gay? Well, I suggest you pay me. He has this thing where he verbalizes a whole lot of uh, homosexual and male genitalia type stuff and then tells you you're gay and then encourages you to pay the gay away. And another thing to add is that during the early the early stages of this Bertaria scam, he did actually promote people to sell their 401ks and other investment things in order to invest in this uh, safety net of a proposition. Red Bar is the only man who can expose him, throw up the bat signal, he'll help y'all. Send Red Bar the Chrissy Mayer interview, he'll have a heyday, a field day. He kind of grew slight shade at Owen. He kind of threw slight shade at Owen last episode of second to last. Jokingly said, 
among other things, but he likes Owen. It would be a field day if that changed. He likes Owen so much that he offered to send coffins for his children a few years back. It was obviously a joke at the time, but I highly doubt Mike David gives a flying about Owen Benjamin. Owen is the boy that walks on tippy toes around those who would who would level him. Those like Segura that was mentioned earlier, that's why for several years he has said, guys, I like Red Bar. He like, he like gets it. Tits Bear always li- <laughs> leans into those with a fan base that would destroy him. Rogan's fan base is too big to give him crap or even know who he is. On the other hand, a Legion of Skanks, Ari, Tom, etc. know their fans would torture him, and these comics are too kind to, to not mention his name. It's like saying Bloody Mary three times in a mirror. These super successful working comedians don't want his toxici- toxicity, his retarded cult followers, or be reminded of his crappy piano here's the pro- produced video let's go to this real quick this is the produced video by the bear taria uh by the bear cult featuring permy bear let's see let's see exactly what this is gonna be like let's see no no we did that already that's not what this is this is nothing. And for those of you that don't know, that's a combat. I would assume all of this land is owned by Owen Benjamin and his LLCs. But then again, I could be wrong. I literally combined the whole field this way. It took a long time. Okay, so that's one of the techniques that they use. They literally just put a screen, put a picture, a video of him picking grain with his hand with the backdrop of him saying, I literally combined this entire field this way. That's very confusing, disingenuous. That's a tactic of this bear cult manipulation, uh, bait and switch. If you're stupid enough to believe that, then it's your fault type of thing. Hey bears, Mr. Fermi bear here on the beautiful bear town. So whenever he says, hey bears, that's, hey cult members, I'm cult member Permi. Aria Ozark's campground. Busy making festival preparations right now, and we thought while festival preparations. This is the festival that, for a low, low price of four hundred dollars, a four hundred dollar donation, you get one ticket, and for the low, low price of a thousand dollars, you get two tickets. We're at it. We ought to give you an update. What exactly has been going on here since last year? Well, first, when it says last year, the Bears actually put together a Bertaria festival that their cult leader flat out didn't go to why because he does not like his cult members he doesn't like them at all he tells them that he doesn't like them he tells them that he actually despises them and thinks that they're stupid for giving him money it's their fault so it's it's there's nothing on him he cleanses his moral palate because he is open and honest about his unethical and morally corrupt ways got our cows we've got a small herd of beef cows bertaria beef that'll be coming down the pipe Bertaria uh, beef that's something that you get if you donate if you pay us money we'll let you buy this from us um our small herd of cows in no way shape or form can utilize all of this so we are contracted with a local legend, Luke, who many of you met at the festival last year. He's been cutting hay on the property for a number of years, and he agreed to keep doing that. Well, as these things go, we ended up getting a dry spell here, right at the worst time for grass growth. So we had to make a decision. Do we cut subpar hay, or do we do something else? Well, that's something else that we decided to do was to let 
let the grass seed mature and harvest the grass seed off of that. That seed will be sold and uh, the plan is that the funds from that will go towards land improvements and So I mean it's all a money grab. It's all a money grab. Donate money so you can buy stuff. Donate money so you can buy stuff. And what do you get in return? Vulgarity. You get some kind of sense of community if you stay if you go through the 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 leaps and bounds that you have to. At one point, I think they changed it, but at one point, if you joined their little secret app, you had to be silent for six months. You couldn't say anything for six months. And the reason why is because it's a high trust community and you don't need to ask questions. They need you to be conditioned over six months period of time in order for you to be trustworthy enough to speak to anyone. And, you know, things like roads and all that fun stuff to make the land better and to make your festival experience better. After the grass seed is cut, we're left with overmature, stemmy grass that makes absolutely terrible hay. We decided that if we leave that the way it is, that's going to keep the ground covered and it's going to decrease the moisture requirement that we need in order to get a good cutting of fall hay. This is the cover that we've got. You know, we've got like about like that much grass to protect the ground right before the festival we're going to have luke come back out and he's going to cut hay on the property then we're going once to again the festival is the 400 dollars for one ticket or for the low low price you can get two tickets if you donate a thousand dollars host a hay bale stacking workshop another local did you hear that a hay bale stacking workshop you get to show up after you paid four hundred dollars for one ticket or a thousand dollars for two tickets you get to show up and actually do some physical labor guys but we called it a workshop so it's a-okay legend duncan bear self-proclaimed best hay stacker in the world has graciously offered to teach a hay stacking workshop because there is a method to that madness if you believe it i've stacked hay before and you better believe i got paid for it i myself can't get much over 10 bales high without getting really wobbly so i'm going to the workshop hey guys if you present it as though it's a it's a silly little game for children people want to do it and you know what sometimes it works unfortunately we're anticipating somewhere around 1,500 bales of hay to be our share of the harvest. Now, we're still working out the details, but kind of what we're thinking is that donors will be offered the same price as we would get in the wholesale market for the hay. Win-win because they get a better price and we get the exact same price that but we But it's not, though. You've already paid money, so that's, that's not how that works out at all. Get anyway. So donors are going to get first pick on the hay. After that first pick, anything left over will be made available to local bears at the standard retail price. Anything else that's left over after that time, we plan to sell into the wholesale market. So as you can see, it's a really good idea to become a donor to Bertaria Ozarks. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You, you have to pay money in order to... <laughs> it's just a crazy... It's just... There's... <laughs> There's nothing good about it. Absolutely nothing good about it. They don't offer anything that other people don't offer except for verbal, uh, spiritual, mental abuse by their cult leader. And you have you, you get you do get a special pair of bear goggles that make all of this make absolute perfect sense. Donors who want to buy hay are just going to have to come here. We looked uh, into the logistics of shipping hay nationally to wider Bertaria community, and that's just not going to happen right now. Just, so just like one of the reasons why you, there was a time whenever Owen Benjamin, the cult leader, uh, pre-sold his DVD, signed copies of his DVD. Well, he didn't fulfill that. Why? Because it was just too cost. It just didn't make any sense. So all the people that donate that didn't donate, they pre-purchased the DVD for a hundred dollars. You know what they got in return? Sixty second um, makeshift song, improv song, and he told them that they would appreciate that more. So I guess that worked out. So if you're, say, in Los Angeles and you really are Jones in front of the Sozark hay, you're just going to have to come pick it up. And, you know, that might not be worth it to you. But if it is, I'll be here. We'll get you loaded up and sent on down the road.
We're going to have more information and details soon about what to expect of the festival, scheduling, accommodations, all that good. They've been doing this since last year. They've been preparing since last year. The reason why they can't come up with anything that they're actually going to do is because they absolutely have to make money on this for it to make sense, which no harm, no foul if it wasn't done in such a way. $400 for one ticket, $1,000 for two tickets good stuff so make sure that you stay tuned we are working on it we'll see you in the next update onward to bertaria all right all right so i'm gonna cut i'm gonna end it about here but uh medium requirements actually has a very good point no one's got the balls to keep a young male slave bear like this guy he's right there no yeah permi bear has a slave bear a young male who he doesn't pay, it's an exchange for goods, it's like an indigent servant type thing. Permi Bear calls him Hey Boy for his slave name. So not only does he have a bear, he has a real name, but then he has a bear name, but then he has a slave name. And so that's the type of gentleman that Permi Bear is, the guy that's promoting this Bertaria scam festival. $400 for one ticket, $1,000 for two. Birds of a feather flock together. This is the Texas Goat Radio Show, and I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time. If you would, give a shout out to CoffeeZilla. See if he's interested in doing a little something something on this uh, bear cult that they've got going on.